So, this is the test. And got a little focus on looking in the lens and not the viewfinder. Because that is important. Yes. Hey, everybody. So, this is a very long time in coming. Uh, this has been in the works for a really long time. I've been working on a lot of planning and such for my very own podcast. Um, I have been blogging for a long time. Uh, you may know me as the Nanny Goddess with a Cat. And um, I've been blogging for about seven years. Long time. Long, long, long time. Before I even got to college, uh, when I was still in high school, um, I started blogging about my knitting and the rest is history and here I am today. Um, which is really exciting. I also have to focus on not looking at the viewfinder, which is where myself is and I can see myself, but I have to look into the lens because then it's like I'm talking to you who's watching this. It's like a conversation. It's like a knit group. Having tea because I have my tea, which is wonderful. But I have to look at you. I can't look at myself. <laughs> That's the thing. <laughs> anyway, so in addition to doing my own podcast, video podcast, joining the cool people, because there's a lot of cool people who do it, um, I am also planning on starting my own hand-dyed yarn business, which a lot of people also do, but I am going to somehow put a new twist on it that's my very own. I'm going to do something special. Um, just taking my fiber experience and my fiber, fibery passions to the next level. Now that I've completely graduated college, I am done with education, which is incredible. The time has finally come, and now I can devote more of my time into that. In addition to also getting married in January, so that's exciting. I have a lot of wedding planning to do, and um, that is a lot of fun. Anyway, so moving on to more podcasting stuff. Uh, in regards to the segments and what they are called, I have no idea. There are lots of different options that people do. They call their knitting segments different things, and they call, they have like what they're doing, what they've done. In regards to non-knitting things, they have like their finished objects, they have spinning, they have food, they have life, they have like quilting, if they do quilting, they do a lot of different things. Um, my stuff is a little bit more contained, I don't do as much, at the moment anyway. So right now I'm looking at a knitting, what I'm working on segment, a finished object segment, which I don't have anything in that segment this week, but eventually I will, which is at least good. Um, I will occasionally have spinning. I will occasionally have things that I've been baking, and because I love to bake, and um, I was given a really cool cookbook for graduation from my sister and brother-in-law, so it's exciting. Um, and then also occasionally there will be a life segment or like wedding planning or stuff that's been going on that's nothing related in no way related to um knitting or fiber so i'm working on naming things but that is a that is definitely a work in progress but if you guys have any suggestions or have any ideas just let me know and i would greatly appreciate it so moving right along because I don't want this to be too long for the first one, because who wants to devote 30 minutes of their time to someone they've never even heard before? I'm moving right along into knitting, and um, I'm gonna show you only two things that I'm working on right now, because there's, there's just so many things that I'm working on, and I don't, one, we would be here for forever, and two, I wanna kinda space things out and stuff. I also, Side note, I'm going to be, I'm still going to be posting on my blog, because this is also where the videos will go, um, but I'm not going to be doing 
like I'm gonna spread everything out so there's an even amount of things on each in each post so that's great just as a BTW so for graduation from my parents I was given um, I joined the cool club another cool club thing and I was given a um, fringe field fringe supply bag in the color toffee I'm so excited because I've been wanting one of these for so long and I finally have one and it's so great it's so wonderful <laughs> and it is the home of my cinnamon girl cardigan by Amy Christoffers and I'm currently working on the body right now and this the lighting has gone completely wonky that's a little better but I'm currently working on the body and I finished um, a repeat and like several rows and I have to do two repeats of the whole entire cable chart before I attach the sleeves and in regards to the sleeves I have this much of oops this much of one sleeve and actually the sleeves are I'm knitting them inside out because who wants to purl for 19 inches nobody so I joined the rest of the people on the Ravelry pages saying that they just knit it inside out, which is a great idea. Um, so this is what I've been working on. It's been my Olympic sweater that I've been working on. Uh, I knit on this a lot while watching the women's gymnastics and the swimming. And it was great because like I could focus on it during the commercials and it was, it was just perfect. And then I'm looking down, there's a lot of cat hair on it because my cat, Birdie, nested on it at one point while I was home, but that's okay. But what's really great, um, going back to the bag, the bag that it's living in, um, it, this bag is ginormous. Like, you may not think that it's really that big from just the outside, um, but it is huge. Because it can hold, like, an entire skein of eco, which is the yarn, the yarn, the cascade, eco wool, an entire skein of this, the sweater that it's being knit out of, a little baby skein of this, and almost an entire sleeve, and still have plenty of room. I also kept my notions bag in there, and my iPad with the pattern on it, and it's just, it fit really well. The drawstrings kept it all nice, and it had a little bucket to sit upon and it was really, it was really great. It's a great bag and I'm so excited to have one now. It's so wonderful. Um, so yes, it's slow going, but I know it'll be worth it in the end. So I, um, yeah, I actually had gotten like maybe 10 rows into the cable pattern. Um, when I first started it and then when I picked it back up again at the start of the Olympics there had been maybe like a six month uh, hibernation period so I had one I had no idea where I was in the pattern and two I wasn't happy with like the fabric that was coming out of it and I wasn't happy with my needle size and I had messed up several times on the cable so I was like I was like you know we're just gonna frog it to the ribbing and I'm gonna start over with a different needle size and it's gonna be great and it turned out pretty well, and I'm glad I did that. So, that's really wonderful. And that is my first project that I'm working on, or that I'm going to show you. Put that back in the bag. The second thing that I'm working on is a shawl called Buccaneer. And, uh... If you've been at Yarntopia at any point when I've been there, you've probably seen seen this. So shout out, shout out to Yarntopia in Katy, Texas, my yarn home and place where I worked for a little bit. It is wonderful. And if you're ever in Katy, Texas, you should definitely check it out. Or in Texas, in Houston in general. It's very close. Anyway, very sidetrack, sidetrackness, but that's okay. So this is the, the shawl. It's very big. It'll definitely be taking up the entire screeny, screeny, screeny. There we go. Lean back even more. 
Hello. So it's really big right now. I'm not even, I'm probably more than halfway done with it by now, but um, it is, it is massive, which is really great. I'm a big fan of um, really big shawls you can wrap up in and just, you can kind of tie around your neck if it gets cold and you have like a really nice, like a coat that you can have a, a colorful scarf poking out, which is really fun for me. Um, because it gets really cold in Texas and you definitely need that, which is sarcasm because it doesn't actually get as cold in this area of Texas as it does as it would in like Michigan. So, whatever. We, we're not used to the cold, so we need to bottle up more. Um, this is by uh, her, her pattern name brand business is called Lettes Knits, and her name is Justinia, I think, but I cannot pronounce her last name, but it is very, um, I just got the little, the, the battery, battery sign, so I'm gonna check that real quick, but I will be right back. If I can find the little button, there we go. No, that's not it. Where's the button? Where's the button? Oh, there it is. I'll be right so I'm back again, and I feel really dumb because I didn't charge the camera enough to complete the entire thing that I was going to do, so now I've had to change locations, and so it can be plugged into the wall, and I don't have to worry about batteries dying on me, because that's never good, especially while you're recording something. Anyway. You just have to have your cup of tea handy so then you can feel better about yourself because you have great tea. Anyway, so I was talking about my Buccaneer shawl and how big it is and just how wonderful it is. Um, also, I would like to say, so I can hold it up, this greeny showing up greeny color right there is definitely not that color in person it is more it is um the the yarn i'll just go ahead and tell you so these the the fun little stripies are unicorn tails from madeline tosh they are a single um a merino single and the this massive this very bright color color is the edison bulb um, and I don't, it's just, it's showing up so green, and in person it's just so more neon and not actual green. <laughs> but that's okay, you know, that happens. Anyway, so I have, um, I've come a long way, and this really big section right here was very, it wasn't the most exciting, but it was really great, excuse me, because I had to sit through hours and hours and hours of online lectures for my last summer class and uh, when I wasn't taking notes my hands were so bored so I knit this I knit on this and there were about there I had to repeat a two row repeat 44 times with like maybe four stitches increased every other row or something like that so it was a lot but it got done, and I am now on my way to the end of it, which is really great because it's almost the end of August, almost the end of August, and it's coming around to September, and it's going to get colder, and it's going to be amazing! Yay! Someone's really excited about fall, if you couldn't tell. I'm so excited about fall. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm using Madeline Tosh Light. And I'm also using the uh, Madeline Tush Unicorn Tails, which I have here. These are just two of them that I have. Um, this one is called Neon Peach. And will it focus? Will it focus? There we go. Ta-da! There's that one. And then also this one which I believe is antler. 
I don't know if that actually focused. There we go. Um, and I'll put the other colors in my show notes, as well as all the other information that has been mentioned in this episode. Um, but yeah, so these are super fun, and I really like these. These are like, I don't know, they just bring them into happiness and joy, and they're so soft, and there's just like so many fun colors. I really like them. They're a lot of fun. So, looking at my show notes that I have written here, um, that is what I've been working on, mainly during the Olympics, because you gotta have something to work on during the Olympics, so you can knit while you watch Simone Biles do all of her magicness and win gold medals. So, which is really super exciting, and I love the Olympics. They're one of my favorite events that happens on TV. Anyway, so another section that I was thinking about having is things that I want to knit. Um, and it may be that I don't have the yarn yet. It may be that I don't have a pattern yet and I have the yarn. Or I have the pattern and I don't know what yarn I'm going to use. Or if I'm just like, I want to knit a sweater. That's that. I have no idea. There's, there's so many options that it could be. But today, in this case... I have the yarn, and I do have the pattern, and um, I don't have the pattern with me, but I do know, oop, do you know what the pattern is that I'm going to be doing with this. So, I am going to be making the Om Shawl, Shawl, Om, O-M, Shawl, by Andrea Maori, who has a lot of really wonderful patterns. But my mom and I are going to be making this pattern together, and we're going to be doing different colors, but um, we're going to be knitting it at the same time, which is super fun, or around the same time. Eventually, we will have the same shawl. That is the goal. <laughs> um, but we are using Knit Picks Wool of the Andes um, because it's cheap and it's really great, and I don't know if this is very confusing going backwards, but that's okay. Did that focus? I think it focused. There we go. So these are the colors that I will be using. Um, they're not as accurate with this lighting, but that's okay. They're close. So this one, if you're curious right now, which will also be in the show notes, this is called Wonderland Heather. Um, and I got two balls of this. Uh, this is Blossom Heather. And I also have two balls of it, this. Um, this is called Cadet. And it's showing up a little bit more green, greeny in person. Um, on the camera, I can see it's showing up a little bit more blue. But it's more of like a teal. Um, and I have two balls of this. And then the main color is called Oyster Heather. And um, I really like this color. It's a really nice cream. And I have six balls of this and this will be the main body of the sweater or not the sweater it's not a sweater it's a shawl it's it's like a massive massive blanket shawl and it's in worsted weight and it's not on a size 10 and it's got a lot of fun part like aspects to it design elements and I'm so excited to make it but I have to finish other things first being a good person I'm trying not to cast on too many things beforehand before getting like getting carried away and casting on all the things which I really want to because fall is coming and there's just so many new patterns that are coming out but oh well, just gotta wait so that is the end of my knitting portion and um if you guys this is obvi I'm obviously very new to this I have not done this before if you guys have any comments questions suggestions advice help whatever please let me know because I would love to hear what you guys have to say um I will also be moving around I'll be finding different locations clearly the stairs the stairs the stairs over here the stairs are not the best background but I will figure out a new location and it'll be much better and I'll be more more happy and more knitting knitting vibe ish this because that's always good um, I will have show notes with all the informations and link the informations and links to all the things I've talked about. Um, 
and if you'd like to find me on any kind of social media, I'm on Facebook. I have a group, The Knitting Goddess with a Cat. I'm on Twitter as LittleMinky93. Um, I'm on Instagram also as LittleMinky93, and I'm on Ravelry as LittleMinky93. I'm most active on Instagram if you guys, if any of you guys follow me already, you guys know that I spend a lot of time on Instagram. <laughs> but I love it so much, and it's just, it's just so great to see people what see what what people are knitting there we go um anyway so thank you for watching i hope you stick around for the next one and i hope that i will have lots of fun things to show you for next time anyway thank you bye if i can find the button there it is okay bye that wasn't the button dang it the button's here okay bye